Google is making it rain with its Pixel 3 sales. It's coming after Apple's Apple Arcade. Android comes to the Switch, of course, unofficially. And the Pixel 4 rumors about gesture controls get confirmed. This week, as we, together, as a people, check it out. for another sophisticated Saturday. And you know I keep it classy like all the time, 100% of the time. So we are gonna go ahead and get into our first story. So a few months ago, Google released the Pixel 3a, which was like their budget phone because they were not happy with the Pixel 3 sales. But since they didn't release it, y'all, they making it rain. They didn't double their sales with the Pixel 3. And all it took was them releasing like a $400 phone. Cause $400? For all that? Of course I'm gonna get it. Like, I would've cop that. Like, you better cop that if you ain't got no phone, especially if you're still like on your 7-Eleven Android. You might as well go ahead and upgrade to the Pixel 3a. Like, what you doing? Anyway, it just proves that people broke and they don't wanna be paying eight, nine, ten thousand dollars for a phone. All right, you're gonna get you two phones from 7-Eleven and a Slurpee for less than $35. I am not paying $2,000 for a foldable phone but congratulations to Google on their sales. Speaking of Google, they're already coming for the Apple Arcade. The thing is, we all know the Apple Arcade is coming, which is Apple's subscription service for games, where you're gonna pay a monthly fee that they haven't designated yet to get access to premium games. Well, Google, they're already testing their service. That's gonna be $5 a month. You're gonna get games and you're gonna get premium apps. They're already trying to come out for Apple before Apple even drops a thing. So Apple, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You got Google coming for the Apple Arcade. You got Disney coming for the TV service. Like, everything that they do, it just keeps getting trolloped and trumped over. Personally, I don't think anybody's going to subscribe to the Google or the Apple service, so it's not going to matter. But Google is ready to compete. They're coming out fighting. All the lives they had to, well, not really. I can't even say all the lives they had to fight because then they, like, literally, they put Yahoo and Ask Jeeves and Netscape and whatever else search engines there were out of business, Bing, before it even started. They just, they took out everybody. So I can't even say all that. I mean, they was fighting, but, like, they want the underdogs. Like, they want fighting, fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like, they was already, like, crushing. And they're trying to crush Apple completely before they even get started out the gate. <laughs> it's real life. DMX. Year of the dog, baby. Woo! I, he, I feel like, I'm pretty sure he said that before. I think, I'm, I feel like he said that. In our next story, speaking of Google, Android is now on the Switch unofficially if you hack it. And if you have an early version of the Switch, I was thinking about looking at it, but I want to put Android on my Switch because why would I? But I mean, that's a thing that you can do if you want to do that. Apparently it has some bugs and stuff, but it's Android, so of course, and it's unofficial Android on a Switch, so of course it's going to have some bugs. But apparently there's an exploit, which makes sense because the Switch is based off the NVIDIA Shield, which runs Android. The hardware is based off of that. So of course they can make it work up there, unofficially, on like the earlier versions of the Switch. But I guess maybe if you're curious about it and you have an earlier version of the Switch that I might work on, I guess you can check it out. I mean, I don't want to lose all my save data and stuff and run a buggy operating system. But if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into it, that's what you can do. It's your life. Don't you forget. It's your life. It'll never end. All right, we're going to take a quick break from all the Google stories because there's more Google stories coming up. But the Apple credit card is officially rolling out this month. So take that, Google. You didn't beat Apple to the credit card game. So ha. And everybody cares about it, too. They do. They, they care. I, s I s Jeff, you care about it? No, they don't. They, I see them care about it. Anyway. You got to Apple is finally rolling out the credit card this month. I don't know who's going to sign up for it because got em. if you ever tried to finance a MacBook through Apple, it's almost impossible unless you have like, like you can't even have ever been late on a payment for like, a $3 credit card bill. Or they just won't approve you for it. So I can't imagine how 
spectacular your credit has to be to get one of those Apple cards. But anyway, if you live in a mansion in Beverly Hills, then maybe you might be getting the Apple credit card this month. I don't know. I guess it's, I don't, I still don't get what the point of it is, but. You know, you're going to try it. I'm not getting it. I'm Liar. Not, I'm just going to put in the application and see what happens, but there's no guarantees. All right, let's head back over to Google land where there were some rumors about the Pixel 4 having a face ID and gesture support. And just like when the rumors came out about the back cameras on the Pixel 3, them having like the three camera array. Google just went ahead and leaked the information themselves. And they were like, oh, the rumors came out, here you go. So they pretty much confirmed that it's gonna have a Face ID module and it's gonna have gesture support so you can stand in front of your phone like this and go like this and control stuff. And I, I mean, like people wanna do that, they want to. This is the future, we're all embracing it. Google's embraced it. Like we just need to embrace it as a people. Like you, like you doing stuff in front of your phone and control stuff, I'm buying that Pixel 4, baby. It's, it's, it's happening. It's happening. It's, see, right now, nothing's happening on this phone. But if it was the Pixel 4, I'd be, like, swiping through pages or playing songs. Until it crashes. And, and our final story, both Google and Apple have had privacy concerns over their voice assistants. Now, these are two completely separate incidents with Apple. The Guardian, I believe it was The Guardian, ran a story last week about them doing QA for Siri where they listen in on you know some of the stuff that gets recorded on Siri and then some contractors apparently were talking about it like you know they heard all this information and medical conditions and stuff so right now Apple has suspended their QA until they can further address those privacy concerns and then Google's in a similar situation but in Germany except they weren't they didn't stop themselves they got turned the told to stop by the German government. They're like, yo, you gotta stop listening to these conversations B. we don't trust you. So you get your privacy stuff under control. So yeah, they were going in there and listening. Well, they weren't really doing QA, but they said that they were researching to better improve their voice assistant by listening to the stuff recorded on the Google Home. So Germany is like, nah, nah, you ain't meeting our privacy regulations. So you gotta stop. Well, when, when, when will it stop? Google, Apple, Facebook, Bing. Bing just needs to stop in general. And speaking of stopping, that's going to bring this episode to a stop and a conclusion at the same time. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell a friend, tell a coworker, and always do at least two things at the same time. Peace.